Captain John Surgery was a stoic man from a long line of sea captains dating back to the Napoleonic Wars. His father was notorious. He famously, or rather infamously, abandoned his ship as it floated, burning after a kamikaze attack. He reportedly shoved junior officers aside, exclaiming, out of my way, dead men. Then he leapt over the side of his ship. Subsequently, that stalwart vessel did not sink. Now, Captain John Surgery felt a great weight of shame upon his shoulders from a very young age after his father committed this heinous act of naval cowardice. When he was a young boy, he was taunted mercilessly. As he grew through adolescence, the taunting continued. It was at its worst when he went to Captain's College. Now, despite his father's shameful legacy, Captain Surgery was a good sea captain, although he dreamed of one day restoring his family's naval honor through death in battle. Sadly, he was born in a generation that had no war to fight in, so he became a cruise ship captain, and that was that. But he knew that ultimately he could prevail because his greatest dream was to one day rid his family of this stain on their nautical honor by himself one day going down with the ship. Your father's a coward. Your father's a coward. Hey, uh, I'll do the one with the cowardly father. Captain Surgery, we've manned the lifeboats so and most of them are deployed, but she's sinking quick, sir. It's time to leave. I'm staying. Have you gone mad? I'm taking her down. But this is a pleasure cruise ship, Captain. Those old nautical traditions don't matter here. They matter to me. Man a lifeboat sandwich. But Captain. That's a goddamn order. Goodbye, Captain. Now to perform a captain's final duty. Hope you're watching, Father. I believe that Captain Surgery purposely sunk his own ship. <laughs> I find that idea to be preposterous. No, Captain Surgery wanted to die in battle, but honor drove him to go down with the Matsonia instead. As to why I think the Matsonia sunk, I think that there was such heavy emotion being carried by the captain that it literally ruptured the hull of that magnificent ship and sent it to the bottom of the ocean. Now, some people would claim this is a crackpot theory. I maintain it's a romantic one. And there's nothing as romantic as the 